When it comes to shoes, they're only as comfortable as the sole they're made with. These boat shoes had cheap soles with very little foam padding. I could buy a new pair of shoes, but today I'm going to show you how to save some money and make your own. I think we need something gaudy and sassy, you know, for the children. This outdated ship theme complements my Plymouth Rock family that came over on the Mayflower. Probably why grandmother had this in her bathroom as wallpaper. On second thought, this 1940s prisoner jumpsuit theme is giving me seizures as I edit this video. But I think it's the color match that the shoe needs. On to leather. I know what you're thinking. Overkill, Mr. Wooden Creations, man. But I feel a layer of leather will give a rugged durability that the manufacturers skipped out on. I mean, really, how often do you get to walk around and say you're walking on rich Italian leather? That's right, not very often. You can see here that I settled on Avatar Blue. Less about the color and the movie, more about the feel. This leather has somewhat of a pliable feel to it. Not overly stiff, but perfect for a rich Italian feel. Think of it like having on sweaty socks and you're standing on your neighbor's new leather couch. Awkward, right? But so satisfying. As we all marvel at the crummy craftsmanship and lack of foam in this old soul, it's time I whip up some of my own foam. This is crafting foam I found at Hobby Lobby. Wait, did I go buy this foam? Oh heavens, no. This is from my past YouTube video where I built the world's first steampunk flare gun based off the movie Stranger Things. That was a callback. Squirrel! Here, I'm hot gluing all the layers together. Careful to stay on the outside of the edges of the soles to cut down on feeling of glue buildup. In hindsight, I don't recommend using hot glue for this project. Instead, use contact cement. Apply to both sides, allow it to dry, and then stick them together. I've used it a lot on other foam builds, and it's more of a permanent bond versus hot glue. Let's review. I took some nasty and gross insoles and replaced them with some bling bling prison stripey foamy goodness. Will these new soles shave time off running a mile? Or help you finish projects faster? Or better yet, allow you to become the dovetail cutting master you so long to become? Probably not. But you can walk around and tell people you're walking on rich Italian leather. And you have the pride that you made it yourself. Prepare yourselves. A true boat shoe connoisseur knows you must try the shoes without socks. And there we have it. Tested them for the first time and they feel amazing. I've since worn them for a few weeks and had zero issues. The comfort level is the same as when I made them. I do have flat feet, so this may not be as comfortable to someone who needs good arches, but uh, overall, an excellent design and worth making yourself. I realize. You with your tiny feet, you don't have to make insoles like I do. What do you have, a size 8 or a size 9, maybe a 13? Well, when you get up to a size 17, you got to make your own insoles. Now then, I have to say, this fabric was pretty obnoxious. I couldn't stand it. It was wanting to make me cross-eyed and all kinds of goofiness. But overall, inside the shoes, they actually fit pretty well. Uh, if I was the designer, I think I'd reconsider and make them out of this. The comfort level, absolutely, I would give it 9.5. Now then, why didn't it appear 10? Well, I didn't have to make it, and it took me a while. So it's always easier to pay someone else some money and have a product. But it was a lot of fun making. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, this will be definitely going on my next trip. So another two years out of these shoes, and just a little bit of uh, craftiness and a little hard work. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. More craziness to come. Did someone say rich Italian leather? It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's a formidable scent. <laughs> it stings the nostrils. In a good way. Yeah. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline.